The greatest achievement in interventional oncology so far has been the achievements in the liver. Um, and I think that's because we've been very clever uh, about taking advantage of anatomical uh, opportunities in the liver, the unique vasculature, the um, proximity of the liver to the skin for percutaneous approaches, and the fact that the liver is, is able to sort of absorb um, different procedures and then sort of regenerate. And so um, that has been a launching pad. It's also one of the areas of greatest um, struggle for us because immunologically, the liver is very inert. Um, it allows anything to kind of go through. It's a very permissive niche. And so as we go towards the future and try to combine some of our techniques with um, immunomodulators, the liver has proven to be a much more challenging environment um, because of all of these factors. But for that purpose and the fact that we are able to deliver things precisely into um, a location where we want them to be, um, I think that we are well suited to overcome these challenges um, as we go forward and we will be very synergistic with it. Um, the, combined approaches with um, immuno-oncology.